Hello golfers, this is Bob Laskin with 2MinuteGolf.com talking about the chipping yips here with Vinny Brasha and this segment we're talking about club face angles and you know on a chip you really don't have that much time to square up the face once you've opened it up or got it too far inside or outside you know excessively and and that's why again the chipping it's so critical to get the club back you know on the right path with the right club face angle and so here here's an example of inside open and so now that club face is open Vinny's got to flip it coming through and he almost got lucky and hit the pin but now he's gonna have another chip coming down the hill and that's not great so that's opening up the club too much we want that club to be more straight up and down and as you can see here this is the opposite end closed club face and then coming down having to open it at the end just too much of a compensation in too short of a time and and that's why it's so important to get these chips right on the right path and so when you're chipping you know you could put you know for distance same distance back same distance through you know put a couple golf balls down about a club length away and you just go same distance back same distance through but you feel like your club head is going over this ball and over this ball. It's gonna go on a slight arc and, and that's pretty normal, but if you can stand there and just kind of feel that path, that'll really help you keep the club face on the right path and you're gonna get some really solid chips. So this is the two different ways of you know missing the club face, which is open, you have to flip, or closed and you have to block. So again, I like the put the two balls down as a reference and just come back with neutral hands you know not closed not open just kind of keep your hands more neutral and then be concerned more with the path that'll fix up your club face angle yips